hey guys so i'm kind of just trying to do a video that's like oh my god i look awful that's just kind of like me talking shit about things while doing makeup also i tried to dye my hair pink and it looks like this that is actually the first thing i would like to talk shit about um lime crime hair tints yo suck what i kept it in my hair for two hours what in the goddamn is this patchy ass mess and but because my hair is like semi pink i was like wow it would be so cute if i get like a pink eyeshadow look to match it and i was gonna wake up and do this but guess what i woke up at 12 30 and my class starts at 1 30 so i didn't have enough time yeah. let's just get into it um let's just talk about the look i'm trying to do i'm trying to do like a glowy look and i always do matte looks because whenever i do glowy looks i'm like my face is dewy if i touch it everything will come off that's really not true but i um, i feel like a nice little dewy pink eyeshadow look would look mad cute but i just don't know also it's cold as fuck in new york and i got this big ass hoodie on it's kind of ruined the aesthetics of the whole look but like i don't really care so i'm gonna use the nyx honey do me up primer i've never used this before and i've been terrified to even try it because honey is sticky and i don't want my face to be sticky but we'll see and i'm also going to use the nyx total control drops i love these they're so lightweight they're really not worth the money though but let's try this out so that was the first thing i want to talk about my hair and how awful lime current is and their hair products because Ooh, I'm not supposed to use a spatula on my face, aren't I? It's a mess here, but don't, I wash my hands, don't worry. But, so, I did the thing yesterday because I wanted pink hair because I saw Chica from Kaguya-sama and I was like, damn, I want bubblegum pink hair. So then I tried to do it and I left my hair for two hours and my hair is just like, patchy mess and i feel like if it actually came out properly i would look cute as hell but no i look like my hair is like fading i don't know and i know that i'm gonna wash my hair like three times and it's gonna be out because my thing is i knew it was bad i knew it was terrible because i had the one in color sushi and i put it in my hair and it looked awful it looked patchy and the back of my hair was like so orange and the front was like kind of auburn and it was kind of weird and also like i kind of gave myself the e-girl look because my bangs died but, like like died perfectly but like i wasn't trying to go for it so like i don't know but i had the orange one and it was awful so i don't know why i was like you know the pink one yep the pink one's gonna look nicer can someone get me like <laughs> that's ridiculous that was also ridiculous i'm gonna spread this everywhere yeah this is awful all right um let me just go blend this out and i'll i'll be back so i love how cooling that shit was it made my face feel like i put ice on it and it felt really nice and i thought that like putting it with like a nyx product was like the best way to test it but that foundation and primer are doing a weird thing right there and i'm just gonna ignore the weird thing for now and we're gonna see if i just powder it if it will look fine i don't know what i'm doing with makeup but i love it it's a lot of fun all right so next on the agenda i have a lot of shit to talk about today so next on the agenda i want to talk about oh by the way i'm using the elf hydrating concealer um next on the agenda is ColourPop. i love them to death they are great what an awesome brand but Oh, I'm not gonna use my finger to tap this in, but I kind of want to talk about their launches, bro. Like, I feel like every single time ColourPop has a launch, there's a problem with it. Like, I'm talking about their big launches, like their Sailor Moon launch, or like just this upcoming week, their Hocus Pocus launch was a disaster. And like, after ColourPop has like a launch, I always go on their Instagram and read their comments because a lot of people are really mean. <laughs> it's kind of fun to read. Does that make me a terrible human being? Probably, but it's a lot of fun. Can't lie, but I just feel like none of their products, like, none of their launches ever go smoothly. Especially for, like, products that are, like, highly anticipated. Like, their Hocus Pocus one. 
god, this launch was like one of the worst I've seen yet from them. Like they first of all, the day it was supposed to be released, they um weren't able to put it on their website, which is like okay, it's not their fault, it's Shopify's fault. But then like the next day when it was actually like when they actually were gonna release it, they like released it five minutes early. Like which is not gonna lie, it's really annoying when companies do that because it's like, bro, I'm gonna be there at ten o'clock. You told me ten. What the hell? Who said we had to be five minutes early? So that was really annoying. And I wasn't interested in the Hocus Pocus collection. Like, I was interested because, like, people were interested. But, like, not, like, in the fact that, like, I wanted it. So, like, that was interesting. But um, the Hocus Pocus collection was... Everybody wanted it. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Hocus Pocus palette to set my face. But everybody wanted it. So just to see them, like, come out with it five minutes early. Also, they're not restocking it. So it's hella limited edition. So I just felt like this launch was, like, terrible. They, like, launched it earlier. Um... When I went to look at it, a lot of the products weren't showing up on the website for me. Like, I wasn't going to buy it. I just wanted to go look what was sold out. You know? Anybody else do that? Just me? Okay. But, um, so yeah, that was kind of awful on their part. And a lot of people were rightfully pissed. I would be pissed. I remember with their first Sailor Moon launch, like, I was able to get first everything on first try, but that was because I was literally, like, having a panic attack trying to get everything um it was a mess i was literally in my school's basement like 10 minutes before my class trying to like get this online and like i could not check out and then i checked out with the bundle and then it was all sold out so then i added everything to my cart individually ended up paying more but like like it was it was really rough to try and get it so i feel like their launches suck and i don't know but then i'm like does any brand do launches good and a lot of people leave, um, I'm just gonna do a light dusting of powder on my face, but a lot of people leave, like, helpful suggestions for them, like, do a pre-order system. I think it would be wonderful. That's what they do with action figures. And I know because my boyfriend makes me look at all these action figure stuff, but that's what they do with action figures, and I feel like that would be awesome. That would be awesome if implemented in the beauty community. Come on, can you mind if I would pre, like, order my ColourPop stuff? They would not have those mean comments they do on their Instagram. Like, I'm telling you, a lot of people were pissed. And then they launched the collection at Ulta. But, like, it was launching at, like, 5 a.m. my time. Or, like, something, like, really early. And a lot of Ulta's, like, put up the display early. It's just, I feel like their collections and, like, launches are always super messy. And, like, that's what I wanted to rant about. Like, come on. Can y'all do better? So I've made a horrible mistake where I've made my face kind of matte, which is like what I always do. So that's, that's an issue. We're going to liven it up. All right. So I'm going to contour, put some blush and highlight. So for contour and highlight, I'm going to be using these like two face, like little minis. I got the candlelight go low and the chocolate milk soleil bronzer. And yeah. And then I'm going to be using this 120. 83 days blush that i got when i went to Terra public and it's so cute it reminds me of like the kaja blushes Ugh, i want those so bad because because they're adorable but i don't want to be spending the money on them so back to color pop um i love them but they need to do better that's it that's that's the whole thing i also feel like their collections like have been getting kind of boring lately is that just me i don't know I've been really into like the brand Kaleidoscope. I feel like they are like looking, doing something cool with their like palettes, like their futurism, like five pan palettes. Can't lie, I ordered the full collection the other day because I was kind of sad because I didn't do good on my genetics test, but like still, it's cool. And like their packaging looks so nice. And I just really wish that more brands would like venture out. Like when I saw the Hocus Pocus collection by ColourPop, I thought it was cute. Don't get me wrong, it's cute, but I wish they did more with it. I don't know, it was kind of reminding me of their other palettes. And I was like, come on guys, be unique, be interesting, it's Halloween. Also like Makeup Revolution did that little collab with Nightmare Before Christmas. And the colors on it were like fine. I didn't have a problem with the colors, but like, God, the packaging was awful. It looked like dollar store makeup. Bro, y'all gonna think I'm like the most negative person ever, but like, this was a rant video, y'all. <laughs> but 
but like um they look like dollar store products and i like cannot understand why they look like that and i was really into it because i kind of like the colors can't lie i thought they were cute but like the packaging threw me off and the fact that it was like 28 dollars when like one kaleidos palette is like 24 and like their colors look nicer granted each kaleidos palette has only like five shades but still i'm gonna make a kaleidos video because i'm so excited to like check out their stuff like i can't get over it y'all are probably like shut the fuck up about kaleidos if you don't have any of their products but like come on like all i do all day is watch kaleidos reviews because i really want their stuff and it takes 21 days to get to the united states i think they ship from japan which is like really cool but also like this blush is like killer and if you can get this in the united states i don't know if you can please try and get it like i love this blush so much but this looks so cute all right we're doing better we are returning to not being flat and now I'm gonna use highlighter because it's a glowy look. Uh, Y'all know I don't really like highlighter because every highlighter I found makes my skin look so textured. And that's probably my fault. I don't know. I used to wear so much highlighter, but the fact that it always like made my skin look textured and it always looked fake kind of like threw me off from it. But then I'm like trying to venture back into it. Cause I'm like, so stop being boring, be exciting, and I'm trying trying and i really like this one this is the one i've always liked the candlelit candlelit glow one and i got this at like tj maxx for like three dollars and i was like hell yeah what a steal but back on ColourPop products i bought their coast coral collection just because i thought i could do a review on it and then like i started using some of the products kind of because i wanted to do more like not really a first impressions i wanted to do like an overall just review on the collection um, I scrapped that video real quick because I was like, I'm about to be so negative in this video. I did not like so many of the products from that collection. I just, I wish I could tell you why. I mean, I can't tell you why. I am going to tell you why. So, first of all, the blush and the highlighter, to me, had like so much glitter in it. And the glitter just like stuck on your face and I wasn't really into it. But that's a personal preference. The formula itself is fine. I just didn't really like the colors on me. Well, I like the blush color and I didn't like that but I just didn't like the fact that there were like glitters that would just like stick on your face and it like didn't look cute and it didn't look natural and it just wasn't for me I'm kind of boring but oh my god how much highlight I'm gonna put on but the highlighter was fine it also had that same like kind of glitter problem where it kind of just left glitters on your face I don't know I'm just so boring with highlight like I just wanted it to look shiny like do I want a clear highlight hello apparently but the actual eyeliners in the collection like the little gel eyeliners those are awful like they were actually trash and like i literally would, was trying to make a look with them and i couldn't do it i literally could not physically do it like it was so dry it was so dry and i'm like hello is there any pigment is there anything here there wasn't and i wasted money because i wanted the pencil eyeliners but I didn't know if they were selling them separate and it looked like they were just selling them in sets. Okay, glow. So I bought the sets and I love the actual like little pencil eyeliners for like waterline and stuff. But the actual gel eyeliners, I was trying to do some cute little wooden eyeliner with it and it didn't work. And I was really sad about it because that's just money I spent down the drain. And yeah, I wish I could get the money back. But the eyeshadow palette was fine. It was really kind of boring. It just looked like their baby got peach palette and... That's all I gotta say about that. Now we're gonna do my eyebrows. So I'll be back. I'll do this off camera. I'm literally just gonna use um, a wet and wild eyebrow pencil that I'm trying to use up because I spent money on it and I don't wanna waste it. So I'll be right back with eyes. Um, So these are my eyebrows. They're kind of ugly. Um, Yeah, I don't know what else to say about them. If you got eyebrow advice, leave it down below. I kinda need it. Because I just, one time I got them done and they weren't even and ever since then they just never been able to be even again. I'm literally ranting about my eyebrows now because I'm pissed. But I'm going to do kind of like a pink eyeshadow look and for my eye primer because I am trying out new eye primers because all the ones I have kind of suck. So I'm going to try this. It's a NYX Professional Makeup um, Eye Primer or like eyeshadow base in white 
because I use a lot of pastel or like lighter eyeshadows and I feel like this can help kind of bring them back to life. I've had that coffee for so long. It doesn't taste very good anymore, but you know, we're, we're going to still drink it. But I'm just trying to make my eyeshadows pop because... I am tired of complaining that my eyeshadows are not pigmented and then not doing anything about it. So back to um, kind of clip pop, I want to switch the gears because for today's eyeshadow look, I actually don't know how to use this, but for today's eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using the Ice Cream B palette, which has been my first time ever using that palette, but they have some really cute pink in there and I'm trying to use that today. I'm also going to be using the way not the one I wanted, the NYX um, Brights palette. You guys know the one. You guys know the one. Everyone uses that one. But, so, on the topic of the Wet n Wild, like, little ice cream bee palette, there's also, like, a coffee one. And, oh my god, that one smells like ass. Like, I'm trying to tell you guys, it smells so bad. I've tried to use it before, but I cannot get over it. Like, I open it, and it's like a waffle, like, coffee smell. And I used to work at Starbucks, so, like, that smell doesn't bother me. But oh my god, that's like the worst coffee smell I've ever tasted, ever tasted, ever smelled in my life. It fucking smells disgusting. And like, you know, I don't want to like take off points for that because I like, use it in an eyeshadow palette. It's not like a smell good palette. Like, it's not supposed to be smelling good. But why it smell like that? Y'all couldn't just give it any other scent. And the ice cream B one is supposed to smell kind of like ice cream, like vanilla. And like, um, Too Faced did it once and moved on well they haven't moved on they still do it but Too Faced did it and now everyone's trying to do it and like can y'all not make scented palettes i don't know i just i don't like it um and i understand that like you know it's a coffee palette they wanted it to smell like coffee smell good they failed they failed miserably and it smells awful and that palette would be fine if it didn't have that smell I haven't seen anybody complain about the smell, so I'm like, am I just, like, kind of crazy? Am I just really nitpicky? Because I hate the way that palette smells. I'm going to set this with the white eyeshadow. Um, next, I'm going to do the eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using this palette. You guys know the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, and, oh, I'm going to go with this color. Let's be bold. Let's be daring. I actually have, like, a meeting in, like, 30 minutes, so... What's a little fun? What's a little pink? And I'm gonna use this AOA brush. It is the E126 brush. I don't know why I didn't just say 126, but you know. I love the AOA brushes. I think they are awesome. And nobody really talks about Shop Missy anymore. Like, come on. Shop Missy is still a dollar and they're still killing the game. And I'm kind of nervous. I can't lie. Wow, this is really bright. <laughs> I wanted to do more of like a subtle pink look and then I pull up with a hot pink. What is wrong with me? Everything. But in all the right ways. I've been watching too much Parks and Recreation lately. I feel like I'm starting to talk like Leslie Nope. Or Tom. I'm more of a Tom. But in my heart, I am a Leslie Nope. But I feel like I'm just starting to like talk like the characters. Like the way they like awkwardly talk and like take pauses in between like sentences and phrases. And I just feel like... I belong in Parks and Recreation. I'm just saying, I love all of the characters so much. Like, come on. Come on now. This is supposed to be a red video, and now I'm just talking about how much I love Parks and Recreation. Like, we need to talk shit about something. <sighs> I need to figure something out. <laughs> I'm gonna think of something to talk badly about. School. I hate Zoom University. I can't pay attention. Like, I'm doing an awful job of paying attention, and then I have no motivation to study, because I used to study on my breaks during school, and then because, like, now my um breaks are all the time that i'm like not at home i mean not all the time that i'm not in class so i just lay in bed and go on tiktok and be bad and i used to study like so many hours a day like two hours a day and now i just can't force myself to study one hour a week and i'm trying to get back into the schedule especially this week because last week i had four midterms not for midterms, but like four tests or like four major assignments to do. And I felt like I had just, every single day I had a break, I had to like be studying or like doing something else. And it was so stressful. And I was like, wow, all that could be avoided if I had just studied in advance or did my midterm earlier. So this is not a right video about myself. Come on, Sylvia, bro. 
get back on there. I ended up doing fine on everything except for my genetics quiz, which like I don't want to talk about. I did like an average, so I'm not that mad at it. But definitely feel like I could have done better. Boom! Wait, this is really cute. Um, I really like this. Hold up! I just need to blend it more. Let's get my blending brush, which is hiding somewhere over here. Nope, I have all my brushes behind here, and I have my computer over there, which is probably an awful idea. So, like, yep, I found it. So, um, my last video cut out weird. Um, my mom started yelling at me. You know, regular stuff. But, yeah. Also, can we just talk about how, like, parents will, like, just be walking by in Zoom and they just, like, not care? That's my parents. They're just like, oh, you're in class and your camera's on. I will walk by 15 million times and I will also stare at your computer screen. What is the reason? What is the reason? There is no reason. There's no reason. I'll just be a nosy at this point. And then also, my parents are like, you don't have anything to do all day. Like, you go to class and that's it. But, like, y'all, going to class is a lot. Now that I like don't physically go to class, my parents be like, oh, you're doing nothing. But that is not true. I'm doing something. I don't know. I don't know. Also, this palette is so cute. I kind of want to use it more. Like, this. What a cute-ass Halloween color. But I'm also going to put the this color in my lower lash line. I was like, mm, should I put this one? But then I was like, that's kind of cool tone. But then I'm like, oh, the purple look kind of cute. But then I'm like, come on, your hair is pink. Your hair is not purple anymore. I also had my hair purple for a little bit, like the underneath of it, and god that was cute. But I used the door hair dye, which I've never really had a problem with in the past. But like this time, it kind of like killed my hair. Like I had to cut off so much of my hair. Like y'all saw my like first couple of videos, my hair was so long, and now my hair is like so freaking short. Like I'm pissed. I'm kind of pissed. Sorry, I kept looking to the side for a second, but now I'm sad about my hair. And then after that happened, I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna dye my hair again. And here I am with this botched ass pink hair. But make it make sense. Make it make sense. This video is gonna be so long, but I don't even care. I feel like I've been trying so hard to make good videos. Like, hey guys. But like, I'm not like that in person, so I don't know. And like, the people in my life would be like, Sylvia, like, why are you talking like that? It's not how you talk in person. But then I was like, what if I am like how I really am? And people are like, ew. And then I get emotion off of YouTube as the imposter. Just kidding. I'm obsessed with the game Among Us, though. I play it on my phone all the time. And people are like, wow. I play Brown. So people are like, wow, Brown sucks. They're not really talking, but I'm actually like in class. That's why I'm not talking. But anyways, for the longest time, I was like, people are gonna judge me because I am very loud and very annoying. And then people in my life were like, that's your charm. And I was like, that's my charm. So now I'm kind of changed. But let's go to the ice cream beef palette. I have not used this one yet, but I did accidentally bonk one of the shades in the corner. And I was like really sad about it. And I was like, I should just buy a whole new palette. And I had to talk myself out of it. But, however, I don't know what shade I'm even going to be using for it. So, but I just realized this is like not is this one. I don't know. Ugh, part of me is like, use this bright ass pink shade. But then I'm like, be more muted and use this color. But I don't know. I don't even know what this color looks like. It's just a swirl. Oh, that would be so cute. Okay, I'm going to use this swirly color. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh wait, um, I don't know how I feel about it anymore. Do I like it still? I did it, so let's just go all the way. Um, this is why you all can't take me anywhere. I'm mad impulsive. This color is really interesting. Um, whoa, what the heck? Um, there's some blue in there. Maybe I shouldn't have used this color. Oh well, I already did it. At this point, who cares? I did it. So now I'm gonna put it on my other eye and we're just gonna see how that goes. I added the mascara and um, a Nature's Republic eyeliner and I think it looks so cute, but it's not complete. And I'm gonna add this little heart stamp. I have the milk makeup one, but that shit never fucking comes off. Like you put it on your face and it stains your face for three to four business days and you can never get it off. So I don't use that because I'm not trying to have a heart stamp on my face for my zoom lectures tomorrow you know 
if you like that so i'm gonna use this paparazzi one i got it at cvs and i forgot that i even got it so i'm just gonna you know put that right here mm, that looks really ugly i kind of i kind of wish i never did that so i don't recommend that stamp what the hell why is it why is it long this is ugly <laughs> So I'm going to be using the Wen Wild Ice Cream Bee Gloss in the shade Saucy Strawberry. Alright, I this is supposed to be like more of like a dewy look and it's not that dewy. I try my best. Oh my god, wait, that's so cute. If only I didn't have the longest heart on my cheek. You know what's going to fix this? I got y'all. I think I can actually get it. Um, this makeup fixing mix by Pixie is literally awesome. <laughs> Hello. Um, it didn't make that much of a difference. I thought it was gonna make a lot of difference, but. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this is the completed look um what advice don't add a little heart stamp on your face and then ruin your whole look because then you don't like it but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and please check out my next video on monday please like and subscribe and 